Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie. <clears throat> Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Okay. Today, I want to continue with this. Okay? Um, I'm going to show you how to break it down to where it's very simple to read the diagram and do the stitches okay and the first thing that we need to do is we need to just focus on how many chains and then that first row just that first row that second row is not important right now so what we're going to do is we're going to do this That's all we're going to focus on right now, is just that. Okay? So, we're going to put it right down here. And I'm going to get my yarn. I'm going to do me a slip knot. I don't know, I might put that up at the top. <laughs> that way I ain't got to stretch to... Uh, to crochet. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Let me rearrange all this. Okay. Now. The first thing. That we got to figure out. Is how many chain. We need. Okay. And. Uh, we're going to work it. Just like it does. Right here. Okay. And I've already counted, because all them little circles is a chain. Now, the little lines under it, I drew those just to count how many. It, it was easier on me to do it that way instead of just one, two, three. I just did little lines. So, ignore them little lines. That's just me. And I already counted. There's 31 of them. Okay? So, what I want you to do is I want you to do a chain of 31 okay and i will meet you back when we get 31 chains all right i'm back and i have my chain of 31 okay so what i want to do is i've got to have a turning chain to give my my double crochet's height so, I'm going to plus two. Okay? <clears throat> That's what it means in a pattern of the plus whatever on your beginning chain. Is that part's just your turning chain. Okay, so. I need that first one right there. To be open. Well, what I'm going to do is in that first one there and that first one right there, I'm going to put double crochets in them just to give my other double crochets height. So, I chain two. So, right there, that third one right there from the hook, that'll be that one. <clears throat> So, I'm going to put a double crochet in that one. Okay. Because that, that, that chain two right there does not count. It's just for height. It does not count. Okay. So, we're going to yarn over. And in the very next stitch... We're going to put a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet in that same stitch. What we're doing there is we're forming 
our first V. Okay, because you'll notice right there, the first two stitches, the first one we put that double crochet, the second one we put that V stitch. Okay, so if you'll count, there's one, two, three. So that means skip three stitches. And then that fourth one, put another V. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go one, two, three. And then that fourth one, we're going to put a V. Which is a double crochet, chain one. And a double crochet. And so far that's what we've got. Because we didn't chain in between the V-stitches. Because there was no circle in between the V-stitches. But on this pattern it shows we got three. So on right here, it shows that one, two, three chains are skipped. So again... In that fourth chain. One, two, three. In that fourth chain, we're going to put another V. Which is a double crochet. Chain one. I got to pull some yarn out. <laughs> and another double crochet. Okay, so, there's our three V-stitches right there. That easy. And we didn't, like I said, we didn't chain in between the V's because the pattern says not to. But now, after our first three V's, what does the pattern say? To chain two. So, we got to chain two. And then how many do we skip? I'm showing one, two, three, four, five. So we skip five, and in that sixth chain, we work a V. So let's yarn over. I'm going to hold it right here just so my yarn don't, like, slip on my hook. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And then that sixth one, we're going to work a V. And we got double crochet, chain one. And double crochet. Now, we've got our three Vs right there. We skipped some and chained some, and then we got another V right there. Okay, so now let's go back to the pattern. After that V, because that's the one we just did, it says to chain two. So let's do that. And now let's look down here of how many we skip. I'm showing one, two, three, four, five. And in that sixth one, we're working a V. So, let's yarn over, hold it, and one, two, three, four, five. And in that sixth one right there, we're going to work a V. Which in this pattern is a double crochet. Chain one and a double crochet. All right, now let's look at our pattern. All right, so we do not chain in between these V's, but we skip one, two, three, and then that fourth one we work another V. So let's yarn over. And one, two, three, and then that fourth one. If I can get my hook in there. 
There we go. Oh, I split the yarn. There we go. It ain't gonna matter. It's just a swatch. We're gonna double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay. So we got two on that side. And right here, again, we're not going to chain in between the Vs. And we're going to skip one, two, three. And then that fourth one, we're going to work a V stitch. So, we go yarn over. And one, two, three. And that fourth one, we're going to work a V stitch. That's a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Okay, now, according to this pattern, we should have one stitch left. And we do. If you did it exactly like me, you'll have one stitch left. You'll have the three V's right there with no chains in between. Chain two, V, Skipping, skipping five. Over here, skip five. Chain two, skip five. And then three Vs with no chain with one stitch. Just like the pattern shows, one stitch left over. Now, what we're going to do in that one stitch is this. Just like in the beginning, we're going to come down here and we're going to just work a double crochet. That just holds our edge. Okay. Now, we're going to chain one. Turn. And I will be right back to help y'all with row two. Now, keep in mind, it's a two-row repeat. That's it. Two rows. So, after we do the next row, well, you just keep going back and forth. Row one, row two. Row one, row two. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I have row two listed right there. Now, I folded it to where you can see portion of row one. Because that gives you an idea of where your stitches go in. Okay? Alright. So, let's continue this, this pattern. It's a beautiful stitch. Okay, so, it's showing here. Nothing here on the side, but that's because... This is just a swatch diagram, okay? So what we're going to do to keep our height in that very first stitch where we chained that one, we're going to go in and we're going to work a double crochet, okay? Now, it shows that we got a V-stitch in the chain one space of the V-stitch on the previous row. So, that's what we're going to do. It, you don't chain. We're just going to go right into the chain one of the V-stitch of the previous row. And we're going to work a V-stitch, which is a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Well, that's all that is. Okay? It says you don't chain, and you work your next V-stitch in the chain one of the v-stitch on the previous row so that's what we're gonna do now be careful don't don't go in this one you want to go right here in the v-stitch double crochet chain one and a double crochet Now, let's look at our pattern. We've got two. 
We need one more. Okay. Just like we did before, not in this hole. We want to go in the V-stitch. And we want to work a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Okay. Now, we're right here where we chain two and skipped five. Okay. But, there is no circle in between that V and that shell. Okay? So that means we don't chain. We just go straight into a seven double crochet shell into the top, into the chain one space of the V-stitch on the previous row. We do not chain. So let's do that. Yarn over, and we're going to put seven double crochets right there in that chain one one two three four five if you need to slide it over it's okay to yarn six one more And seven. Okay. So that, that's all that one is. Now, over here, going back into our V-stitches, there is no circle right there, so there is no chain right there, just like over here. So in the gap right here of the chain two, we don't, we don't do nothing. We just go straight into a V-stitch into our next V-stitch, which is right there. And then another one there and another one there. And that'll give us one stitch left to put a double in. So, let's do that. Let's go straight into our V-stitch and do a double crochet, a chain one. And a double crochet. And then it says don't chain. And go straight into our next V-stitch. And do the same. Double. Chain. Double. Okay. No chaining. And our very last V. You. Double chain and double okay and then you want to go into the top of your last double and work a double i'll be right back that's my mommy okay i'm back and I just got bad news. My mom has got the coronavirus. So she was calling to let me know not to come around. She's self-quarantining. This, this is just ridiculous, this stuff, man. It really is. But, uh, back to the pattern. I apologize, y'all. I just... <sighs> okay, we just did our double crochet in the last one, so let's pull a loop and let's look at our work. Okay. Now, let's open this up. And let's look at the work compared to the pattern. You got V, 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 space, V, space, V, V, V. Well, then on this next row up here, you've got 
V and a V, V and a V, V and a V, shell and a V, V and a V, V and a V, and V and a V. Well, that's a pretty interesting way of saying it. V and a V. <laughs> but it's the truth. That's what it is. Now, with the next row, what do you do? You're going to chain one. You're going to turn. Okay? You're going to put your double crochet right there in the chain one space. Okay? And then you're going to do a V in the V, a V in the V, a V in the V. No spaces in between them. No, no chaining in between them. Well, then you can see right here, you chain two and one, two, three, four. Right there in the top of the shell, you put a V. And then you chain two and you come on over here and you put a V right here in this V, a V right here in this V, and a V right here in this V. Well, then you work this row here again, row two. And that's all it is to reading these patterns. You have to break it down one row at a time. That's it. Now, a lot of times with these patterns, you'll find the pattern... And there'll be numbers. Okay. Well, here's your numbers. Okay. Because you work the crochet from right to left. Okay. Your numbers are going to be like this. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. And that's how you break the, the lines down in order to crochet them. That's how simple it is to read and work one of these diagrams. That means this is row one. That's row two, row three, row four, row five, and row six. And you can see that it is a Two row repeat. That's it. All right, well, this has been a long video, but there was a lot of explaining that needed to come out. A lot. So it, it needed to be a healthy video. <laughs> All right. Um, if y'all need any further help, on the diagram, just leave me a um, a comment, yeah, and and let me know what you're stuck on. Um, if you want to, you can take a, a screenshot of this diagram right here and work it. It's, it's real easy to work. And the more you practice with the work in the diagram, the better you get. All right. Um, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And uh, when you do, give us a, a thumbs up like. That lets me and YouTube know whether you like me or not. And the more you like me, the more they recommend me for non-subscribers, apparently. I don't know. I don't know how none of that works. <laughs> I just get on here and I run my mouth and uh, 
drop a little bit of knowledge of what I'm able to do. Yeah. Hoping that to, to pass this uh, along to somebody else so that they can pass it along to somebody else. Yeah. Um, as of right now, my granddaughter has no interest in learning how to crochet. But that's what happens with preteen. <laughs> it took my daughter many years to want to know how. All right, I'm almost at my time limit, so. Um, if you can and you know how, um, share it with this video with uh, friends and and family and and stuff like that, because um, I'm sure there's people out there who have no idea what we're doing here in Baljon Room. Um, maybe they'd like to, to learn some of this stuff. All right, well, um, like I said, if you have any further questions on this, let me know in the comments or email me or, uh, if, if you want to do snail mail, we, I got a post office box. Um, I don't check it as regularly as I should, but I do check it. <laughs> I checked it this morning and nothing was in there, so. <laughs> oh, I'd rather there be nothing in there than bills, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, We will see you in the next one. Right here for another grand adventure. Right here in Val's Yarn Room. I love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. Y'all brighten my day. Uh, y'all were the only reason why I'm on here doing this. Trying to teach somebody something that I just, I, I don't want this to be a dying art no more. I want people to pick up them hooks and pick up that yarn and have some fun. So, um... Do something nice for somebody, even if it's just a smile. A smile can carry somebody through the rest of their day and, and change their mood. If they're having a bad day and you smile at them, and, hi, how are you? It could be like, wow, okay. And then they'll go and do the same to somebody else. That's how we spread love. All right, y'all. I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.